Welcome to the Regiment FNG. I'm Major Wood, the Regiment's Intel Chief and I'm here to guide you through the very basics of the Regiment's tactics, techniques and procedures through a series of videos. In this video we will go over the cliff notes of SOP1 to speed up the boot camp sessions. This tutorial does not contain the entire SOP1 document. You will have to attend the boot camp sessions administered and conducted by the S7 staff to proceed with your formal training. In the regiment there are no fixed in-game roles. With every new mission, roles will be reassigned to ensure feasibility and variety of gameplay. A ground force commander or GFC will be determined before the mission and then is fixed for the remainder of the mission. A mission maker can assign a player to be the GFC, if no one has volunteered to take up the position. All available equipment is issued by the mission maker. All loadouts are standard issue and can be found via the respective quartermaster in base. A loadout is only to be acquired by order of the respective commander. If your commander assigns you a role or no doubt, take it without discussion. Even though there is a certain variety of equipment available in base for individual customization, equipment is only to be changed in agreement with the respective superior. A member of the regiment is expected to comply with certain rules of conduct while remaining in base. These include, but are not limited to 1. Not having magazines in your weapons unless ordered so. Remember to remove them when returning from a mission. 2. Do not point your weapon at friendlies. 3. No shooting in base. 4. Do not mount any vehicles. 5. Make sure to set up and know your equipment before exiting friendly lines. If you have questions or problems in this regard, speak up so the others can help you out. The regiment uses different color-coded weapon statuses, known as weapon codes, to comply with rules of engagement and accomplish missions. Red. Also known as Do Not Shoot. Most are used in situations in which it is crucial not to be detected or in a scenario where the situation is so convoluted that it is impossible to distinguish friend from foe and use of force will result in significant collateral damage. Yellow. Also known as fire only when fired upon. In this instance you are only allowed to fire when receiving effective enemy fire. That does not include distant, inaccurate fire or otherwise known as ineffective fire. Green. Or fire at will. This does not mean you have to fire at everyone you deem a threat. Sometimes you might want to remain stealthy, but neutralize sentries that are about to compromise you. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.